Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Gaming On Board. Tonight, we're going to look at one of my favorite dexterity games, Rhino Hero. Super Battle. That's right. It's finally out in stores, and I picked up my copy from Cape Fear Games here in Wilmington, North Carolina today. So we're going to open it up, see what's inside, and show you how this fits in here perfectly. Let's go down the table and check it out. Alright, so we finally got it. Rhino Hero Super Battle. I played this um, at a, it was a game convention in North Carolina, somewhere in North Carolina, I can't remember where, but I met Roy Kennedy from Epic Gaming Night, it was actually at his home church, and I can't remember the name of it, but anyways, that's the first place I played this, and from that day I've been like, oh my gosh, when can I get this, it was only on pre-order through Haba. And I checked a bunch of little stores that carry Hava products. And finally, my local game store, Cape Fear Games, got it in. They special ordered it for me. So, uh, here we go. So, this is a much, it's a much more in-depth game than the regular Rhino Hero. So, you can actually build skyscrapers. And there's tall walls and short walls and different... Uh, superheroes and there's actually battles that take place and those spider monkeys alright so here's the big old instruction book in 35,000 different languages <laughs> and these are the uh, different floors so in Rhino Hero there's just roofs and they're all like standard card size. These are actually the floors. And these are the... Yeah, these are the tall walls. So in Rhino Hero, you know, you only have the short walls. And the short walls from Rhino Hero are actually compatible with this game. These are the original short walls. So if I pull one of... One out from the original Rhino Hero game. See the same height and everything. They're actually comparing them, they're a little thinner. And they might have done that to keep the price down, I'm not sure. But they are definitely a little bit thinner. Um, <clears throat> so you get a bunch of the short walls and. A bunch of the tall walls. I'll just leave these here so you can see them. There you go. And then we've got the actual floors. So you'll have a hand of cards just like in Rhino Hero. But I think you there's like a stack and you draw one at the end of your turn. Every time. And when you play these. You play it. And then you. Put whatever it says. So I have to. Um, put two tall walls. And then play this. On top of it. And then if it has a spider monkey. Then. I have to put one of these spider monkeys. Hang it from this floor. From this floor. And in this game, each person chooses a superhero, and they'll put their superhero on the floor that they just played every single time. Um, well, it's not that simple. You'll roll dice. But anyways, um, here's some advertisements for Rhino Hero, the app. That also comes in the box. And let's see here. I'm going to stop trying to explain how to game and just show you what comes in the box here. So, here's the spider monkeys. I could have sworn it was more than four spider monkeys. Could be wrong. But either way, if a spider monkey's already out, you have to take one from the lowest floor and put it on the one that you're playing. So, I guess it really doesn't matter how many there are. 
There's the spider monkeys. See, they have little spider, <laughs> Spider-Man suits. And then here's the token. Whoever's on the top floor takes this, and that has something to do with winning the game. Then you've got all these. So you've got the attacker die and the defender die. These are rolled whenever a battle happens. Then this one tells you how many floors you move up or down. So you could either go zero floors, one, two, three, or down one. So you'll roll that to see how many you go up or down. And we've got <coughs> Rhino Hero, Bat Penguin, or Penguin Bat, Bat Gwen, Giraffe, and Elephant Person. <laughs> so anyways... And then you've got these double-sided platforms, which will create the base. And I'm sure there's different levels of difficulty, because in this game, the circles are where the starting walls go. And then after that, you can just put them wherever you want, basically. But I'm sure there's like an easy and a hard side. So there you go. That's everything that comes in Rhino Hero Super Battle. Very fun game. It improves on Rhino Hero a hundredfold. I mean, Rhino Hero, don't get me wrong, Rhino Hero is fun um, for all ages. But this one's just on a different level. And the games get crazy. And the more players you have, the better it is. Um, so like I was saying in the intro, you can put Rhino Hero, the entire box, right here into your Rhino Hero Super Bottle, bottle, <laughs> Rhino Hero Super Battle box. Just like so. So you can have everything, both games, all in one box. So there you have it. Rhino Hero Super Battle by Haba. I can't wait to play this um, with my son, and I'm sure I'll be able to get my mother-in-law, maybe my wife, to play this, and I will be taking this to Thursday night game night, uh, board game night at uh, Cape Fear Games. I'm sure everyone will love it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Also, check out GamingOnBoard.com. We have links there to our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. And we do post there daily. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and play all the games.